there's always a new adventure for Megan and I. You never know what's going to happen next. So this was just another adventure. The day started off as normal. Having a breakfast, working out, and ignoring the present moment. Until life catches you off guard and you're on your way to work and you trip out back and break your ankle. Looks fine, doctor. That's where this story starts. If you know Megan, you know that she was an avid runner. She has two marathons under her belt, the Chicago and the Phoenix Marathon. But that all changed in March. Megan was on her way to work when she slipped on some ice out back and that's what started this next adventure. How are you doing? Thumbs up. Everything looks good, Doctor. Do you trust me? Yes. Good. Um, what's your birthday? She was nice. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. That's good. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Wow, I can't believe that was actually kind of cool. The experience. Oh. Like, I don't know how to explain that. It's like, yeah, like I'm not in pain, but I have a lot of pain. There was enormous support from her family and loved ones, helping her down the stairs, going to doctor's visits, just trying to make Megan laugh in times of pain. After receiving surgery, and getting screws put in to keep it back in place. Megan was on her way to recover, but it was a long road ahead. Day 13. Huh? Day 13. Oh, that's a good song for it. gnarly thing. Good stuff's happening. Looks like the legs we both learned that life is fragile and can all be taken away in an instant. I got really good at cooking meals, but mentally this was definitely took a toll on the both of us. I'm having a great time. Thank you. What are your sticks? Up and down so many stairs just to see her walk like this again was definitely a miracle. She was healing up and getting back to normal. Yeah, what's up? was getting back in the habit of being able to wiggle her toes again and that was a huge success for both of us. Definitely a victory. <laughs> Come on, one. Oh, hundred. <laughs> <laughs> She's all better. See you later, Megan. I'll see you at the bus stop. Have a good day at work. All right. <laughs> Walking down the stairs, she's walking down, down, down the stairs, she's walking down, down the stairs, and she ain't got no, no cares, no, 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 no cares, no cares, sing along, she ain't got no cares, no cares in the world, she's going out, because I'm going down the stairs, going out, Megan's going to therapy, physical, she's a therapist. That's her. Megan's gonna hit the gym. Which one do you wanna do? That one? Whoa! What? That's not even a move. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Numerous trips down the stairs, doctor's visits, support from family and loved ones, Megan was able to walk again. Things won't be the same, but it's definitely nice to see that we're more present, living in the moment, and life is fragile, and not to take it for granted anymore. I truly do love this girl, and 
appreciate the times that we've had together, but there's still a fire road ahead. It is not uncommon for people to spend their whole life waiting to start living, Eckhart Tolle.